The stage is now officially set and the greatest martial arts tournament is about to begin as we enter the final stages of recruitment as the Grand Priest alongside the Omni King prepare for the grandest tournament in all the multiverse, looking to gather the Gods of Destruction together to inform them about the Tournament of Power. But even while gathering all the gods together, Beerus is not pleased with Goku's actions on talking to the Omni King as we prepare to enter Dragon Ball Super Episode 79 with the very first battle of Universe 9 vs. Universe Universe 7. What's going on Dragon Ball fans? Welcome to my Dragon Ball Super Episode 79 breakdown review entitled The Universe's Gods Are Aghast. You'll be obliterated if you lose this tournament of power leading into Dragon Ball Super Episode 79 with Universe 9 versus Universe 7 in what promises to be a very entertaining episode given the fact that this is the very first fight of this tournament of power having the teams of Goku, Gohan, and Majin Buu battling the teams of Bergamo, Basil, and Lavenda in what promises to be a very entertaining battle. So and a quick plug before we begin in case you guys are not following me at Twitter, make sure to go on ahead and follow me at Twitter at Unreal ENT Gaming. The link will be down in the description below for all the latest in Dragon Ball news information and updates. And of course, if you guys want to keep notified of what's going on, make sure to follow me at Twitter. And of course, if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And don't forget to turn on notifications. That way you guys yourselves are notified of whenever a Dragon Ball discussion, review, or gameplay video is posted on this channel. Your feedback and of course your support really means a lot to me. So be sure to go on ahead and spread the word about the channel guys it really means a lot to me so dragon ball super episode 78 started off with us finally learning about the rules and where this tournament's going to be taking place and according to the grand priest this tournament's going to be taking place on a nothing world a place without space or time that way according to the grand priest the fighters can fight as hard as they want without any casualties and the prize for winning this tournament is going to be absolutely nothing you get to keep your life however However, if you lose the tournament, your entire universe is going to go boom in front of the Omni King, courtesy of the Omni King destroying your universe. Now, this episode sets up Majin Buu versus Basil first, as Majin Buu first fell asleep in this episode until, of course, Mr. Satan was able to give Majin Buu some chocolate to wake him up. And then even after Majin Buu woke up, he was ready for battle and Basil was his first opponent. However, we get to see how Basil, even in the episode preview, was kicking Majin Buu's butt. He was kicking his butt all around and Basil Basil is extremely fast. So for those of you out there who predicted that Basil was going to be more or less a speed character, you guys were absolutely correct. And we get to see how fast his footwork is because according to the translations, he specializes in kicking. He specializes in his footwork, which was why he was able to kick Majin Buu around pretty fast without having to punch him. He was kicking him all around until we see in the episode preview, Majin Buu begins to turn the tides a little bit and we see how Majin Buu gets all up in his face. And it's a little weird because as strong as as Majin Buu is, we see him getting kicked around by this fox, and this fox, mind you, I believe was unimpressed by Majin Buu at all. We get to see how Majin Buu was rolling on the ground, he was getting his butt handed to him, and we get to see even during the episode preview how Majin Buu puts his arm around him, and Majin Buu, in a way, is taking this as a joke, he's having fun, however, Basil is not. Basil is actually going in there, and he's kicking Buu around, and we get to see how Goku and Gohan are observing this, and seemingly don't seem to be troubled by the idea that Majin Majin Buu is practically losing this, even though he didn't really lose, he was losing the early rounds of this tournament by getting kicked around, by not having any offense. However, I do also want to touch up on the other gods that were shown. We saw several other gods. We saw a mouse god. We saw this fish looking god. We saw this giant machine looking god. We saw the infamous clown god of destruction. We even saw a female. We saw several gods and Goku right before anything else. He stepped up to the Omni King and he was saying, what's up? Zenshan calling him Zenshan and everyone seemed to be loathing the idea that Goku is so close with the Omni King, especially Beerus, and telling him this is not the place where you want to refer to the Omni King as Zenshan. This is not a place where you want to be buddy buddies with him because everyone else, including Champa, was shocked on the idea that Goku was so close to him. However, even prior to all of this, Beerus vows that they will win this by any means necessary, and they're putting the pressure on Goku because once the Grand Priest had told everyone about the rules, and of course, this will be a three-man unit, a three-man team, so obviously enough, we're going to have a three-man rumble. He had told Goku we we're going to win this by any means necessary because if we lose, everything is destroyed. So everyone is putting pressure on Goku now that the Grand Priest had told him about the rules and of course what's on the line. The prize is nothing, but the price is risking your own universe. So we get to Goku recruiting everybody, especially with the Grand Priest telling Goku that the future Omni King wants to see what everyone else is capable of first before we get into the actual tournament. So this is going to be 
basically more or less an exhibition round featuring Bergamo, Lavenda, and Basil versus Majin Buu, Goku, and Gohan. So Basil fights first, and we get to see during the episode preview how Majin Buu is obviously going to turn the tides around. Now, we don't know if this is going to be based on 2v1 victories. We don't know if one person loses. What's required of the other team is for them to win consecutive two matches to count that as a victory per se. So even if one person loses, I'm pretty sure the other two have to win in order for this to be even. However, Majin Buu, I think, is definitely going to win. If anything, judging based on the episode preview and the way Majin Buu is conducting business, he actually might lose and Goku and Gohan might win their rounds. However, we do know that the leader, Bergamo, is going to fight Goku and of course, Gohan is going to fight Lavenda. And this is going to give Gohan, I think, a little bit more shine to see how Gohan's going to fare up against this because he still has his glasses on. However, we still have faith inside of him and winning this, especially after this episode when Videl had told him, yes, you can compete. And that made me happy because after Videl came outside and she overheard what Goku was telling Gohan about how everything is on the line, how Goku needs him, Videl came outside and she gave Gohan permission to go. Unlike Chi Chi, who would be holding him behind, Videl actually said, go on ahead and do it. But all of that took place after Goku had insisted to Vegeta to let Goten and Trunks be a part of the tournament. But of course, since they're so young and very naive, if that, they're not going to do very well. But of course, even if Gotenks were introduced, how does anybody know if Gotenks would actually take the fight serious instead of trying to show off, which was why Goku required Gohan instead of the boys. But also what's funny is that Goku actually asked Vegeta first and Vegeta kept telling Goku, no, I will not leave Bulma's side. And you guys got to give Vegeta credit for this because even after being asked the second time, Vegeta said no, which I think is very good because you want to give the other characters some shine. And yes, Vegeta will be competing later, but as of right now, he has Bulma to cater to and take care of. He wanted the boys. He said no. He got Gohan. He got Buu. Now, one thing that irritated me in this episode, and if you guys paid attention, you can see that Majin Buu fell asleep. And in order to wake him up, you needed chocolate to wake him up. And even after Mr. Satan had given Majin Buu chocolate, Majin Buu woke up and acted as if it was all okay. How come they didn't do that during the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament? They could have done that and had Majin Buu on the team to help fill in the gaps, but instead we get to see how Hercule was missing. Hercule was the one to give Buu chocolate and that was needed to wake him up because at first Gohan and Goku had spotted that he had fallen asleep and Beerus was like, wake him up now. And of course, by giving him some chocolate, he woke up. And in next week's episode, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we get to see how in the beginning, Basil looks to be kicking Majin Buu around, but Majin Buu, if anything, he might be able to either one-shot him or at least have some offense going into this because we're going to have to have a conclusive fight before getting into Gohan versus Lavenda and then finally Bergamo versus Goku. But either way, I think that regardless of what's going to happen with Basil, Basil is going to lose due to Majin Buu's offense. And of course, Majin Buu can do various things to him since they're fighting in the nothing world where space and time doesn't really exist and the rules could be bent a little bit. Who's to say that Majin Buu can't transform him into chocolate or absorb him, which is highly unlikely. However, Buu does have the arsenal. And even while Buu was getting kicked around, we get to see how it was leaving imprints inside of him. But even during the episode preview, he seems to be laughing. So I don't think that Basil's attacks are going to have any effect on Majin Buu. Keep in mind, Majin Buu is not a weakling. He is one of the strongest people on Team Universe 7. It's just the fact that Majin Buu takes everything as a joke. However, one thing to add on to here is the fact that the Grand Prix spoke about the winner of this tournament, the Grand Fighter, is going to be presented with the Super Giant Dragon Balls to wish for whatever they want. In which case, Choppa had provided three Super Dragon Balls to the Grand Priest, for he had already been collecting them. And Beerus was a little agitated on hearing about this, but regardless of the situation, we do know that the Super Dragon Balls have been collected. So now they're in the disposal of the Grand Priest and the Omni King. And another thing that was made clear by the Grand Priest is there is no time limit fight using all of your powers to your disposal. So it's not made clear if poison is allowed, such as Bergamo's poison or Frost poison. We don't know if fusion is allowed because if such characters do require fusion to fight at their full power at their disposal, who's to say that fusion is or is not allowed? Either way, we get to see that Goku is going to be setting up. And of course, we saw his attitude demeanor towards the Omni King because even the Omni King said, say, Goku, why don't you show us a fight? And Goku's saying, yeah, I'll show you an amazing fight. So he is getting full of himself. And we even get to see how Beerus, when he threw him down, he said, do not talk to him like that or he will erase you. And Goku doesn't seem to understand that concept. And a lot of you guys were talking about how Goku's attitude is definitely going to cost them 
a lot during this tournament because he's acting very casual. He's acting as if the Omni King is his best friend. And even Beerus said in the beginning of the episode, he said, just because you think that the Omni King is your friend, if you lose this tournament, he will erase you, making that very specific to Goku because Goku was thinking the entire time that the Omni King is his best friend, but Beerus keeps stressing the idea that he is not his friend and he is only there to watch the tournament. And, and even if Goku loses the tournament, not he too will get Twitter. erased. Make sure and Beerus ahead emphasizes and follow me at times at as he kept telling Goku, will be down in the you will be below. erased for all the latest if you in Dragon Ball news information like that, and updates. And of course, if you guys want to Omni keep notified like so of what's going on, comments down below, guys. Leave your overall thoughts. And of course, if you guys are new to this channel, leave your overall thoughts on Gohan having to be there. He's still rocking his glasses, so I think that once he sees how serious this is going to be, I think Gohan is definitely going to step it up against Lavenda. I mean, just overall in general, this definitely was a setup. So now we know the rules. Now we know the Super Dragon Balls are there, and they're going to be provided because they already have been gathered. But post your comments down below. What are your overall thoughts on Dragon Ball Super Episode 78? And what are your overall expectations for Dragon Ball Super Episode 79 with Universe 9 versus Universe 7 with the teams of Bergamo, Basil, and Lavenda taking on Majin Buu, Gohan, and Goku? Hopefully enough, Gohan will have more shine because ever since the inception of Dragon Ball Super, we haven't seen Gohan do anything. So maybe next week we're going to have Lavenda versus Gohan in being one of the best fights of this tournament. If anything, I do hope that Gohan does get some shine. But post your comments down below. Thank you all for watching so very much. If you guys are excited for Dragon Ball Super episode number 79, go ahead and punch that like button in order to save your universe. If you guys are ready for next week's episode, if you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Super content, be sure to go ahead and subscribe on your way out for more Dragon Ball news information, updates, and discussions. Tune in for more. I cannot wait. I really cannot wait. And I really hope that this arc does turn it around because so far the Goku Black story has been my favorite story of Dragon Ball Super. And thus, I believe that this tournament will deliver. However, I really hope that each character gets some shine. And I really hope that each individual fight is dragged on rather than being short. But let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys are ready for next week's episode, let me know. Tune back in for the prediction video, in which case I want to hear your thoughts on next week's episode. And I'll be seeing you all down the comment section below. Take it easy, guys, and God bless. Peace.